ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Minecrafters of all ages, welcome back to our Hardcore One Block series. We have got our work cut out for us. We've got to get over to these things. We've got to get over to those things. Um, we've got a lot to do as far as ore gathering and beefing up. We are, we're, we're not wearing any armor. I mean, I couldn't make iron armor, um, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea, but for the time being, you know, we're just, we're not, uh, we're, we're not geared up. What we do need is a way to get XP. We have a villager spawn eggs here, which could, which could potentially help. Um, we've got a good solid, uh, food source. What we don't have is like a way to get uh, stuff to trade with the villagers. Um, we're gonna probably want villagers uh, like librarians in order to get books and stuff to help with our enchantments and whatnot. We're gonna want an enchanting table. So I think what we wanna do is we wanna get beefed up, uh, get an enchanting set up, and then we decide with the villagers uh, what books we need that we, you know, what enchantments we can't get off the enchantment table and then do that. But, I mean, like, we need, we need a way to, yep, just help yourself. And that pig just <laughs> spawned in there. Okay. Um, so what we need is a place to grow uh, sugar cane. First and foremost, because we want to get we want to get started on an enchantment setup. That's going to be one of our things that we need to do pretty quick. So I think that's going to be the goal of today's episode is to get us something built out here that is gonna you know it's opposite of that, and that'll give us a good ground foundation to put some farms and stuff like that as well as a base that we're going to need so i'm going to get started uh placing stuff and uh see what i can come up with i had to gather some more resources and i wanted to bring you guys back in with me to mine our first diamonds that we're actually going to get and we don't have fortune so we got one diamond that is all one block at a time we have gathered up quite the bit of uh, resources here um, yeah there were a couple of zombies that had spawned in um, I, I had taken care of them I thought I was recording but uh, I wasn't so didn't get to I'm not gonna get to include that clip unfortunately oh and we got a red mushroom cow so yeah that's the thing and we've got this we've got uh, a nice little platform here um, that goes a little bit and we can put us a base up here on the top have us some little crop fields and such here on these two levels and our little walkway down to here um, I may come through and add fences along this edge. I'm not entirely sure if that's something that I really want to do or not. Um, expanding the world, I think, is a little bit better than fencing it. Uh, underneath all these uh, step ups, uh, let me just. We have cobblestone, so we know we can only go down to there. Uh, same here, we got cobblestone. Uh, that way if Endermen come and pick up the dirt, we're just not aimlessly wandering off to our doom. And I try to do the uh, dirt double thick on the sides. Just so that uh, we didn't have the cobblestone sticking out and, you know, making it look so rough. And I tried to, tried to match up, uh, you know, the other sides here just to, you know... So we got this big platform now. I think the big thing we probably want to do is get uh, some sugar cane going so that uh, we can get paper. Because if we're going to have librarian villagers, 
uh, them paper trades are probably going to come in clutch. And what if we take the jungle logs and let's do some jungle log trap doors. And grab a bunch of this water. I, I've i considered just tossing a bunch of this overboard. Like I have no idea what I'm going to do with all this water. And I, I don't think you can even smelt down empty buckets into nuggets. No. So... Um, yeah, at some point we may... I mean, because we have that chest over... I don't even think I showed you guys this. We, yeah, we got... Uh, that chest is nearly full of water. That one's nearly full of lava. The lava... Yeah, infinite fuel source. Kind of nice. But uh, I have no idea what we're going to do with all that water. Um, I think for here... If we... Kind of do uh, this number and just mm -hmm. place the uh, trap door on top so that we're not falling in. We should be able to, uh, you know, plant the sugar cane just like this. And if I put another one here. Then, or would it be, I would want that here, wouldn't I? Um, okay. No problem. Whoa. Uh, go. So we get, uh, I guess these water buckets are going to go pretty quick. I'm not worried about an infinite water source when I have more water than I know what to do with. So we'll do like this. Yeah, I mean, you can tell kind of how long it's taken me just by the simple fact that, well, I mean, I guess all the, I have finished filling in over here somewhere and the grass has all had time to grow back now. Uh, so digging one block at a time to get all this has taken some time. So anyways, I'm going to do this little pattern here, and this is going to, this is going to, I think, optimize the amount of space that we can, uh, use to get our, um, sugar cane going, and I just, I think, uh, it, aesthetically it's going to help out a little bit too. Give it a some nice little, uh, I mean, we could figure something out for here potentially. Maybe like some step ups in these areas uh, so we're not having to jump or whatnot. Um, would be cool. I'm going to get all this in. And I think uh, once I do that, I'll come back to you guys uh, with a completed sugarcane farm and... We can kind of go from there. So now that uh, we have that in, and let's take a look real quick. Mind you that there are definitely more efficient ways to do this. We have a lot of gaps, um, but it's fine. Uh, even planting that and harvesting it as I went, I'm, I mean, we're up sugar cane. And it's not like we're going to be using rockets or anything. So let's go ahead and we need bone meal if we want seeds. So let's go ahead and make a composter. There we go. Let's uh, drop our birch stuff in here. I guess uh, this one can kind of stack up there. And where do we put our composter? 
maybe re put the composter there? No. Uh, I can see I can see horrible things happening from that. Maybe we put the composter there and possibly just go ahead and compost just enough sugar cane to get some bone meal and hopes that we can get some seeds. A mob farm would definitely help a lot. Let's, uh, there we go. Oh, we got some nice flowers. Oh, he wants to pollinate. And we got one seed. One seed will definitely get us started. We have no way to get a bee's hop, a bee, a bee nest, um, that I know of. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. What we do need, though, is a hoe. So, let's come in here. We need sticks. Let's make a bunch of sticks. And we'll go ahead and get us an iron hoe. We will throw the rest of our sugar cane back in here. We got what we needed of that. Um, we're going to need more water. I have no idea how much water we're going to need. And let's get uh, these other trap doors that were left. So I placed torches on top of the trap doors to kind of like help provide a light source and hide it. I would like to come through here with like some oak, oak slabs to make uh, transitioning this a little bit easier. And we may go ahead and put some kind of barrier there if we don't build off that way. Uh, or even maybe a, like a temporary one. Let's go ahead and get the, uh, oops, let's get some water in there, get us an iron trap door, because we're going to need the wheat, we, we definitely need the wheat if we want to be able to breed our cows and um, and then be able to get the leather that we're going to need for books for enchanting. Oh, I'll definitely have to be careful for that. And let's uh, go ahead and put that torch back. We'll plant our, uh, let's just do our three seeds here. That'll give the wandering bee something to pollinate. I'm not sure where those bees went. Perhaps put a... You know, I, they tend to go up under here and get stuck because I'll see them when I'm breaking the block over there. So we're just going to kind of... Do this again here. And I believe this should give us enough light. I dislike the cobblestone look there, but uh, given Given that uh, we're in the sky, we're gonna we're gonna let that one slide. <laughs> Let's 
get another water here. Trap door, torch, and go ahead and get this all turned into farmland. I mean, we could uh, pop torches, hide our torches down on our lower levels here like this, perhaps. That might be a, a good way to do it. Let's get our last one going. Get our dirt. Uh, that stuff is <laughs> not so uh, easy to come by. And get our torch there and go ahead and convert the rest of this. Oh, uh, I did that again. So we can get our wheat field expanding and basically we just have our base left up here to build. I'm going to outline something while we're working on the base. I will be working on that stuff there and I think uh, once we get the base done uh, we'll be good to go. Yeah, we're still not wearing armor. Uh, <laughs> I did get a leather cap off of one of those zombies with uh, respiration one, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, we, we fought a couple zombies, a couple spiders. Oh, which reminds me, um, because I don't know, the spiders are like spawning, even though there's like I don't think ways for other mobs to spawn. We have a lot of string. We could, in fact, go ahead and make us a bow. Um, in fact, we could go ahead and make us a fishing rod just to make sure that we have the string for that. And you know what? Why don't we take this leather and the sugar cane that we have left, go ahead and turn all this into paper and go ahead and get our books started being made. And I wouldn't even mind making a, a map. Yeah, let's, uh, let's make a map. And um, yeah, we got a, a lot of void and this little bit here. Um, I used all my leather, so if you will excuse me. Hello. I do not want to accidentally hit one of our polar bears. Mm. Or our mushroom cow. I do believe I got a piece of leather out of that. I did. Let's throw our paper in there. We only need one piece of leather. Go ahead and toss our books in there. Oh, and our empty buckets. Let's get us an item frame. And as a temporary deal, we'll go ahead and put our map here. And that's what we got. So let me get to work on an outline for the base. Um, hopefully with the materials that we have. And I won't have to gather too many more. I would like to, I mean, this episode is 
uh, due to come out today in order for us to have a Tuesday episode. So I'm going to get to work on that right away and I will bring you guys back uh, once I have something to base off of and we'll go from there. All right, me being the overachiever I am um, and being limited on time, we have a little more than an outline. Uh, we actually <laughs> we actually have the base. So I wanted like the old tile roof look and that's kind of what we got going on here and I've been working on uh, the crops here as you can tell alternating rows so that uh, they can grow a little bit quicker. Uh, I don't know. I, it's, it's bug rock. I'm not always getting the seeds. So it's, it, it's a slow process. But um, once we uh, step inside, we have a double door here in the front to let ourselves in. And you can kind of see the ceiling here. We went with some oak planks here. I did dark oak um, around the board, uh, around as a trim around the doors. I thought that would look nice. And lots of glass to really help us be able to see anything that we build out here. And I did a checkered board pattern floor, um, thinking that that would allow me to have enough materials, which it did not. I still had to go. I had to grind like crazy to get both the andesite and the, the diorite for that. And then I did a lot more grinding to get enough granite um, to finish this thing off. Because I didn't want to put too much of the uh, acacia wood in there. But uh, yeah, so I think next episode would be a good time to, uh, you know decorate the base inside and out and maybe get ourselves uh, geared up so we're not running around nude in our hardcore world um, a little bit of protection could help uh, especially since thing I, I, I have things lit up more than enough but uh, I mean it is bug rock as I said and things just keep spawning so let's uh Take a little look at our map and that's what our roof of our house looks like I guess interesting <laughs> so yeah um, next episode we will get this thing decked out inside and out we'll do some gearing up and hopefully maybe finish up our crop field <laughs> that would be nice i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode uh, any any comments or suggestions um, anything to do with the series uh, let me know in the comments below don't forget to hit that subscribe button like the video and share it with your friends also i mean why don't you head over to this video on the end screen and check that out if you haven't already and i will see each and every one of you and the next video.